Alright, so today I'm going to do gain settings and setting your head unit. And for equipment, I have a Lumi LM2001. And that has the leads running into an RCA wire, that, an old one that I have cut off. I have the female the female end connectors into my RCAs coming out of the head unit. The head unit is a DEH, and it's not going to focus, X7800BHS. And I'm using the source that I typically am going to be using, which is Bluetooth through my phone. And you want to use the source that you're going to typically use to set your gains. If you're going to use USB, Put some clean tones on a USB and set it that way. If you're going to use CD, use a test CD or test tone CD and set it with that. I don't ever play CDs, like, ever. Never. Don't care to. USB I use once in a while. And I can go through and show you the difference in that. But I'll save that for another video. So we're going to go ahead and do Bluetooth. I got True Tone app for Android. Let's see if I can get this to focus. And so the True Tone app. I've got it set to 40 hertz and I got it set for a sine wave. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the scope here. I have it set to 20 volt because it's a little bit higher than 2 volt output on this head unit. So turn it on and then uh, display button and I think we should be good to go. And hit the display and it'll show you just the voltage. one of these buttons. There we go. So there you can see the sine wave. As I turn it down, you can see it kind of rounds off. For a cheap oscilloscope, this thing isn't perfect, but it isn't bad. You can get a very good grasp on where you're clipping. So I'll go ahead and turn it up. And it looks like there's just a slight bit of clipping there. There we can see it's got flat tops and clipping. And I'll go ahead and hard clip it here so you guys have a good idea. That's what a hard clip looks like. Okay, reset. So we want to back off till them are rounded. And you can also zoom in, which I think is this button. Oh. And you can see When it goes to hard clip, you get a flat line, or clipping, you get a flat line. That isn't even the hard, hard clip. That's hard clip. So, back it off till we get a rounded line. It's like about volume 58 on this setting. That's where we get a rounded line. I'll go ahead and zoom it back out. Reset the track. Other way. There 
here we go and 57 looks pretty damn clean 58 looks like it's just getting into a light clip so 57 we're clean so now I'll use the O-scope to set my amplifiers at that volume and I'm doing this with the vehicle off so I'm at lower voltage so that way I know when I'm running I'm clean and when I'm dropping voltage I'm clean some people like to set their gains with the vehicle on I prefer to set it with the vehicle off alright so I have the 40 Hertz playing set it to 56 I know I was clean set the track and we can see we're getting square waves so we're clipping <clears throat> now we're gonna go ahead and adjust the amplifier until we get these waves rounded out and it looks like 70 volts we're clean and this is with the vehicle off I'll go ahead and touch it up just a hair here so it's 74 you can see we're starting to get flat ends so I'm gonna go ahead and back it back down gains are really touchy Now that we have amplifier 1 set up, we're going to come over to amplifier 2 and disconnect our speaker terminals, our speaker wires. Grab the scope probes. Positive here, negative, and we're gonna adjust this amplifier the same way we did that one. Hook my RCAs back up here. All right, for the second amplifier, oh, sorry about the glare, it's horrible. Oh, uh, basically, I just set to the voltage, and you can see it's still a clean signal. Still got a round wave there, and we're at 70.8 volts, so we're gain matched completely. Clamp, let's see if I can get it to do a peak hold max. There we go. Uh, I don't know if this one has a peak hold, so. I'm just going to watch the voltage here. This time we're going to do 35 hertz. God, my head unit's bouncing around so bad I can't even turn the volume up at this angle. 27 amps. 
higher volts. Let's reset the clamp. Some volts on here. We're going to do 32 hertz. Check out a probe. All right, that was twenty eight point eight and like sixty volts. Let's change this to, uh, let's go 50 hertz. Reset the clamp. Play. watching my amplifier tuning video if you liked it be sure to hit the like button subscribe if you like this type of content uh, I have like 2300 or more videos on my channel so if you like car audio stuff chances are I have a bunch of cool stuff that you might not have seen so be sure to go check that stuff out coming up I'm gonna do the NVX BAD 1004 4 channel amplifier and I'm gonna show how to set your filters your gains and all that properly on a four channel amplifier also i have videos on lithium ion batteries uh, these are lithium titanate there's now a company in the united states selling these so they're super easy to get they're super safe and i highly recommend these for batteries even over agm nowadays these things just dollar for output they totally kill agm so be sure to check that out and yeah, thanks for watching.